So earlier today, we made a video talking about how Baker Mayfield can never, ever play for the Browns again. And the reason that I said that is because of this whole Deshaun Watson situation. And the Browns basically slapping Baker Mayfield in the face and said, hey, we're going to slap you. You're going to allow us to slap you and you're not going to retaliate. That's basically what this whole Deshaun Watson situation was. Because they have a quarterback, but they went out looking for a quarterback. And it is an upgrade. Don't get me wrong. And some people did make some very, very good points that I hadn't thought about. And one of the, the biggest points that some people made in the comment section, they said, but wait, Andrew Barry, Kevin Stefanski, they didn't draft Baker Mayfield. He was not their choice. He was under the old regime. He was the old regime's draft selection. And I was like, ah, that's a really, really good point. That's something that I had not thought of. But still, <laughs> so they, but no, that is a really good point, though, seriously. But Baker Mayfield, he's requested a trade from the Browns. Oh, boy. Browns just, Browns deliver every offseason. Every offseason, they got a lot going on. Usually, it's them bringing a lot of guys on. But this time, it's one of their biggest guys being possibly shipped off. Um, now, Baker Mayfield, he requested a trade. They said that he told ESPN that it's in both parties' interest to just go their separate ways. It is. We know that. Um, but apparently, <laughs> like, like what? This is all for talk. But apparently the Browns said no. P apparently the Browns denied Baker Mayfield's request to be traded. Now, in my opinion, what I really think that really is, it's not the Browns telling Baker Mayfield no. It's the Browns telling somebody who wants to trade for Baker Mayfield up the offer. Up the offer. We need more. We want more. We're not just going to give them to you for cheap. We want more. We want something significant. So you could look at what the Broncos gave up for Russell Wilson. I don't think the Browns will get that. I don't think anything will go down with that. We'll see what the Saints or Falcons give up for Deshaun Watson. Um, but... You, you guys to feel like Baker is not going to be playing for the Browns at all anymore. It, again, that's why we did the video this morning, because it just it's a it's a relationship that has gone sour and it's to the point of no return. This, the only thing that and I said it this morning, the only way that that relationship could have been salvaged is if the Browns gave Baker Mayfield a new contract. But it was already said that they were not going to be giving him a new contract this offseason. They weren't going to be working on it. They weren't going to be thinking on it, thinking about it. And it wasn't going to be being done. So that's it. There's no turning back. And again, Baker Mayfield, like, he, he, you know this was on his mind for a little minute. Because apparently, you know, he said that he was going off of social media for a while. So he left it because he... And some people said that the relationship had already been bad even before this Deshaun Watson stuff. Who knows? I don't know. But either way, Baker Mayfield, he went off social media for a while. Then he came back. He made his big return. And in his big return, he he he, he already like let it be known, like, I'm out. He let it be known without saying it. But when he gave Cleveland that, that oh, thank you, Cleveland. Thank you, Cleveland. He gave them that, that long love letter to all the Cleveland Browns fans and all the people in Cleveland and whatnot. Nice little letter. I didn't read the whole thing. I read a good chunk of it, but it, it was nice, the parts that I read. So shout out to Baker Mayfield and stuff. Um, but if, if, you tell, if you're a player and you're telling a city that you've been playing for for the past four, oh, thank you. you. The time has been wonderful. It's been a swell old time. I've had a great, this is a great situation. Thank you for all the support over the years. Thank you, Cleveland. Yeah, you, you already on the way out. You already want to be out, but that's that's the most polite way of saying it. But now with Baker requesting his tr to be traded officially, like because ba Baker said, I, I ain't about to be nobody's backup plan. No, I'm, I'm straight off that. No, I'm, no. If I'm going to be on the team, then that team better want me. That's what Baker Mayfield is saying. Baker Mayfield is not going to be a rebound. And what's what's even more sad, again, the point that people brought out about him not being selected by Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski, it, it kind of makes it hurt less as far as um, for Baker Mayfield, but still. Uh, but 
it's it's like if you yeah you you have somebody there, but you like hey, I have you here. Yeah, I appreciate you, but I'm gonna go look for your replacement. If I can't find your replacement, I'm obviously trying to replace you because I don't feel like you're good enough. I don't feel like you're good enough. I'm trying to replace you, but if I can't find somebody to replace you, ah, I just come back to you and it'll be all good, right? That's what this whole situation is. That's why I said that. <laughs> Baker can't come back to that, man. He can't come back. And has Baker Mayfield been the best quarterback in the world? No, not at all. Has Baker Mayfield helped change the culture for the Cleveland Browns? Yes, he certainly has. But again, that the, the point that again a couple of y'all brought out that just is sticking in my mind now, like yes, Andrew Barry, Kevin Stefanski, Baker was not their guy. He was not their guy. Uh, and that makes such a big difference. And I'm, I mean, even if he was their guy, even if he was their guy, uh, we know business is business. And NFL is a very nasty business. Very nasty business. So, that's that. So, Baker Mayfield is, uh, again, I, I just, when we talked about it this morning, I'm like, man, seeing Baker Mayfield in a different jersey, that's going to be weird. But so we'll see Khalil Mack in a different jersey. So we'll be seeing Hayden Hurst in a different jersey. So we'll be seeing um, Russell Wilson in a different jersey. <laughs> Drew Locke in a different jersey. It happens. It happens every single year. Guys switch teams. Guys make choices. Guys get cut. Guys get traded. Guys get signed. It, it, it's all part of the process. But now, something to think about for when, when Baker Mayfield is traded. Because, again, Cleveland Browns may have denied his trade, but again, I think that's just so they tell other teams. That's their way of telling other teams publicly, like, hey, step it up. Step it up. But I think if, if and well, when he does get traded, not if, when he gets traded, he'll be on the fifth year option. So, and I'm not sure how that works. I know it's 100% guaranteed. But I don't know if Browns have to take on some of that or if the new team, they can take on all of that or if the Browns and the new team can come to some sort of agreement where they could split it. That part, I don't know how that will work. I got to, well, I guess we'll see when that time comes. Um, but Baker Mayfield is essentially going to be playing on a one-year deal, on a prove-it deal in his fifth-year option. It's going to be a prove-it deal because I don't see a team trading for him. And depending on the assets that they give up to acquire him, depending on the trade capital, uh, that could kind of give us a preview on if that team is really going to sign him to a long-term deal or not. But you got to feel like that's got to bring the price down a bit. Him having that fully guaranteed fifth-year option, that's got to bring his price down just a bit. Because that money is fully... But it is only a one-year deal. So it's, this, is a tri, this is a tryout. You, we saw Carson Wentz with the Colts. The Colts, they gave up a first and a third, I think. They gave up a first and something for Carson Wentz. It was a tryout. Um, the Washington football team, what did they give the Colts for Carson Wentz? I forget what they gave, what they gave him. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Colts tried Carson Wentz out, didn't work. Boom. Done. Moving on. Moving on. The Titans, and I don't know this, this is different because it's a wide receiver, but the Titans, they gave, uh, the Falcons a second and a fourth for Julio Jones, I think. And they cut him. It was a tryout. So just because you give up significant draft capital to acquire a player, it does not mean that you're automatically invested into, into them for the long term. So wherever Baker Mayfield ends up going, yeah, like I, I, I guess I changed my mind then because I was going to say depending on what they give up for him, it will show if it's a tryout or not. But I will like with Russell Wilson. The Broncos gave up multiple first round picks for him and some other draft capital, too. So that you could tell that that is not for a tryout. That's not for no trial. That is a in your career here, Russell Wilson type of move. That ain't for no trial. Um, but with Baker Mayfield, it will be. Uh, because they're not just going to be like, all right, let's get Baker. Let's sign him to a long term deal. No, they're going to want to see how he is in their system, whatever system that ends up being. How he is with their players, how he is in their locker room, how he is in their community. So, we're going to see, man. I, I love the offseason with a passion. I love it. Love it because this, all this stuff is so much fun. And it's like, think about this. All this stuff that goes on in the NFL is so much fun. And then on top of that, we be getting football games from all these players. So, it's like the entertainment value of the NFL 
is just is superior. And we love it. We love thinking about different scenarios, trying to analyze what this meant and that meant and what this move means and where this player is going to go, how much this player is going to get paid, if they're going to get cut, released, traded, whatever. The offseason is so much fun. And I love it. Something that I also love is y'all. Appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Watching all the videos. Because I know it's been a lot of videos. But this, this offseason been so crazy. So it's got to be. It's got to be. But anyway, like Baker Mayfield will be very soon. When it comes to being with the Cleveland Browns. I'm out.